Technical Perspectives In this module, we will discuss the technical perspectives of cloud computing. Differences between private and public clouds. Private cloud. In this type of model, an organization uses their own hardware and software resources to achieve cloud services. This model mostly uses virtualization. Only organization users can access the private cloud. In this picture, we can see the centralized enterprise private cloud. Private cloud, also called internal cloud or corporate cloud, is a marketing term for a proprietary computing architecture that provides hosted services to a limited number of people behind a firewall. Advances in virtualization and distributed computing have allowed corporate networks and data center administrators to effectively become service providers that meet the needs of their, quote, customers within the corporation. Marketing media that uses the words private cloud is designed to appeal to an organization that needs or wants more control over their data than they can get by using a third-party hosted service, such as Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, or Simple Storage Service, S3. In this picture, we can see the architecture of a private cloud. The organization uses its own servers and storage for the private cloud. This can be achieved by using virtualization. Only organization users and customers can access this private cloud. Other people can't access the private cloud. By this reason, private clouds are more secure. Public cloud. This type of cloud model service can be accessed by any internet user. These computer resources are available to all public users. Examples of this cloud model are Gmail, Google Docs, and Hotmail. In this picture, we can see one private cloud and two public clouds. A public cloud is one based on the standard cloud computing model, in which a service provider makes resources, such as applications and storage, available to the general public over the Internet. Public cloud services may be free or offered on a pay-per-usage model. The main benefits of using public cloud services are easy and inexpensive setup because hardware, application, and bandwidth costs are covered by the provider. Scalability to meet needs. No wasted resources because you pay for what you use. Examples of public clouds include Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2, IBM's Blue Cloud, Sun Cloud, Google App Engine, and Windows Azure Services Platform. In this picture, we can see many public clouds. The organization will check and decide which cloud best suits their needs. In this situation, the organization also contains private cloud in order to expand the services that the organization opted for public cloud. In this way, organizations will expand their services to the customers. These all are the differences between public cloud and private cloud. Both the public and private clouds have elasticity. On-demand self-storage is available in both the public and private clouds. Metered usage is also available in both the public and private clouds. Virtualization is available also in both the public and private clouds. Resource pooling is also available in both the clouds.
the main difference between public and private clouds is security. The public cloud has minimal security, whereas the private cloud has high security. Manageability is available in both the public and private clouds. Hybrid Cloud This cloud model is a combination of both private and public cloud models. In this picture, we can see a hybrid cloud. A hybrid cloud is a cloud computing environment in which an organization provides and manages some resources in-house and has others provided externally. For example, an organization might use a public cloud service, such as Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, for archived data, but continue to maintain in-house storage for operational customer data. The hybrid approach allows a business to take advantage of the scalability and cost effectiveness that a public cloud computing environment offers without exposing mission-critical applications and data to third-party vulnerabilities. This type of hybrid cloud is also referred to as hybrid IT. In this lesson, we have learned the differences between the public and private clouds. In the next lesson, we will discuss the cloud computing service models. Thank you.